Right, year five, welcome back. We are in lesson three and we are in the third part. So now we've got to go and build this tower. Let's go and check out what Mr. Dr. Barwin says. Hmm, where do we go from here? Maybe if we had a little height, we could see over all this ice. Build a tower that'll let you see over the ice wall. Well, this is the ice wall. And we're gonna go and build this. Let's go into our tutorial. Program an agent to build a tower with oak blocks that is 10 blocks high. First ensure that the agent has 64 blocks of oak plank using set block or item. Command program the agent to place oak planks forward, left and right. Wow. So this time we're gonna go and do it in a three way here using agent place block. The agent needs to move up after placing the blocks. So the agent needs to move up. So let's go and have a go at this. So I'm going to call this ladder because if we check out the next bit, we have to program the agent to move down from the tower and construct a ladder that is 10 blocks high. You need the ladder so that you can climb up. So we've got two parts here. So I'm going to call this ladder to start with. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that I've got uh, enough blocks in here and we need some oak like we did before and then what we need to do is make sure that our amount of steps that we are going to climb up which is 10 and what we need to do it says we need to make sure that the that the oak planks are forward left and right so we need to go and place forward now I can right click on here so make sure that you can duplicate it and forward, left, and right. So I'm going to go left and right. And then we are going to go and repeat 10 times, replace. And then what we want to do is we want to go and move our agent up. So we can go and test this now. So if we just read this through, so we want to, on chat command, we want our command to be ladder, agent set block, or item in the inventory slot of one. Repeat 10 times. So replace it forwards, left and right. In fact, should we make it a bit neater and go left, forwards and right. So it goes in that, in that sequence. And then once it's done the, that row, we want it to go into the next row. We want to complete that 10 times. So this isn't going to be complete, but this is going to be a test. So we want to go into our chat click on that box and type in ladder. And if we check that out, that's actually not a bad start. So if we pop in here, we know that we've got to bring our agent down now. So that means we've got to repeat 10 down to here. And then we've got a third part, which is to go and place the ladder in that central column, I suppose. So, Let's go into our code. So we want another loop now to bring our agent down. So let's go and put 10 times and then move agent down. So if we go and test this out, so let's go and reset this now. Go into my chat. I don't need to type ladder again. And so when it gets to the very top now, there we go. So now the third part is obviously to put a ladder in the way. So let's go into my code. And this time we want a third part, which is repeat 10 again, but this time we need ladder. So we need to change the items in the inventory here. So we duplicate this and make sure that this goes into a ladder because this is what we want. And then we can go and place forwards we want agent place forwards and then we want our agent to move up using our duplicate so let's just read this through in our heads and make sure this is right ladder we checked it that works it does it in a nice order repeat 10 times and brings it back down when it's on the floor we want it to change its inventory to a ladder making sure we've got blocks in here enough blocks and then we want to repeat 10 times and the agent forward move up by 10 
well, by one repeated 10 times. Now what you can do now is once you've got your, uh, your code here, what I'm gonna go and do, just show you really quickly, you can go and take a snapshot. So go and take a snapshot. I'm gonna keep this as well. I'm gonna call this ladder, like that. Well, if, if I could ladder polar bear, okay? And I've saved that now in my uh, Minecraft area on my computer. You can do that on your desktop and then you can put that into Google Classroom, okay? So I'm gonna go and hit play now and reset this. And then hopefully we can go to ladder by pressing up. And if we go and hit enter, let's go and cross our fingers or cross our toes, bring their robot back down because we tested that bit and our ladder goes to the very top. So it hasn't told us that the the course has been been complete. Maybe when we reach the top, it's going to tell us that it's been complete. Now we have, do we need to bring our agent forward, do you think? Let's just go and see if we can bring our agent forward. I'm going to go and reset this because I've got a feeling we may have to go and put our agent forward by one and make it move off the tower. Cross our fingers and cross our toes, year five. Right, let's go and hit T and give it a test for the final time. And it's put the ladders in, which is what we want to do. And it's moved forward. Let's go and check it out. There we go, activity completed. So we have to make our agent step forward and off the ladder or else it's not going to work. And the wall has been emptied. So let's go and check out what's through here. Oh, wow. So we've got our new task for saving the polar bears, year five. Right, as always, year five, good luck with that.